If we are to believe the stories that dominate our newsfeed, there are an evil group of people out there who are out to destroy our lives. They will take away your freedoms, bombard you with fake news. They do not share no, your values. They have no common sense. Brainwashing your children with their propaganda, they will do everything in their power to take away all that you hold sacred. Beware, they are out there, the people we call them. Them, the enemy. Them, those other ones. Them, the ones we must overcome, the target of every comment section everywhere. So confident are we that we are the ones who are right. We have turned respectful public debate into millions of miniature individual dictatorships of the mind. The teeth of our savage sound brights grows ever sharper by the day, while indignant ears grow deaf to anything that does not reinforce our worldview. There is no room for reason in a lynch mob, no longer a gift and give and take, no space for context and complexity in a 280-character tweet. The air is growing thin in this here echo chamber. It's getting harder and harder to breathe. We need not even look too far before we can identify a them. Even amongst brothers and sisters in arms, sibling rivalry cuts deep. The climate activist questions the urgency of women's rights if we have no habitable planet to call our home. The unionist challenges foreign aid if a working wage can't even feed our own people. We hear it's the immigrants that are the problem, or those people in SUVs. No, it's the dairy farmers, the greenies, the feminists, the turfs, it's the bankers, the church, the NRA, the liberal media, the gay agenda. It's them, it's they, it's those people. If only they... Stop. Listen. Can you hear that? That's the sound of singular stories. It's the sound of red herrings gasping for breath as the future slips away. It need not be this way. We can be better than this. We have the cure for them. It's simple. It is us. What if we were to take our pointing fingers and turn them upside down to extend the gentle hand of compromise? Offer up our gifts and contributions with open hearts, embracing grace and humility. That's not to say that we should deny the role of privilege, ignore the wounds of the past, or cease to pursue our passion for change. This is no time for complacency. After all, the Buddha taught nonviolence, not pacifism. But let us dismantle systems of oppression without creating carbon copies addressed to them. Step away from the militancy you have held so close as a lover. Soften your heart and walk a mile in shoes that do not fit. Shoes that cause you discomfort. Blisters edging their way in beneath the soles of the feet we have so firmly planted in the arguments we have convinced ourselves are solid. We can be better than this. We can be better than this. According to particle physics, we exchange 98% of our atoms with the world around us every year. So I am you, and you are me, and they are us, and we are them. We are them. To somebody, somewhere, you are them. Kura kota. Thank you.